Hey guys, I'm uh, tonight I'm going to watch a movie in light of what's going on in the world right now uh, with the coronavirus uh, uh, outside. They've closed down all the theaters. And because of that, um, what happened was that the movie industry will not stop for just one virus. So what they've done is they released all these new movies uh, on early access on some of these streaming channels. And um, I went ahead and I chose a movie that has gotten really bad reviews. Now, I wouldn't mind to watch like The Hunt. The Hunt looks actually really good. But to give you a, an idea of why I've chose this, I chose Bloodshot as my movie for tonight. Um, and the reason why I chose that is because I remember uh, back in like the later 80s, like 87 to 89, um, there was a gentleman named Jim Shooter, and he was the editor-in-chief of Marvel Comics. Now, um, because of some decisions he made, uh, Marvel ended up firing him. And because of that, um, he went out and he formed his own comic company called Valiant Comics. And they, they brought out a, a bunch of really cool characters. Um, a, a couple of them being like Exo Man of War and one being Bloodshot. Um, I loved these characters. These, 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 some of these characters were really cool. And, uh, and they had really good talent writing these comics. Um, and I grew to really like... Uh, Bloodshot. I thought that was a really good character. Now the company went out of business in, in the 80s and they, they came back in the, like the 2000s. I, I think another company bought them. Um, and I, I continue to read these characters and, and the stories have just gotten better and better. That is the reason why I totally want to watch Bloodshot. I just, I, I, it looks bad, it's gotten bad reviews, but um, I'll, I'll give you what my honest opinion in just a few seconds because uh, I'm going to go ahead and watch this movie in just a few seconds and be right back to let you know what I think about Bloodshot. Alright, see you. Bye. So... Are you ready for this? My two-word review of this movie would be um, perfectly serviceable. Uh, so let me uh, take a minute to set up this movie and uh, give you the basic plot. Uh, in the beginning, what you think you're getting is a soldier brought back from the dead with an excellent reason to set out for revenge. As the story unfolds, what you find is the story is really about our hero against a multi-billion dollar corporation. Where the story fails is uh, setting up reasons for us to hate this corporation and the people that work for it. When it when you boil down the story, it's really about a super smart, slightly uh, uh, morally ambiguous and innovator who is more bent on profit than he is uh, doing what is right or wrong. We are given some interesting characters with some very interesting traits that they could have used and made uh, uh, fun to watch on the screen when it comes down to it um, these personalities that are were given are kind of underutilized uh, was this movie completely a failure? no in fact there were a few things I'm gonna go ahead and take away from this movie and I, I really did enjoy there's this one character in particular um, played by this guy right over here um, Every time he was on screen, man, he was just a joy to watch, and I, I found him very humorous, very fun to watch. Uh, yeah, it was it was great. For every second that he was on the screen, I found him completely charming and fun to watch. Uh, unfortunately, the same cannot be said about Vin Diesel. Look, when you start watching a Vin Diesel movie, you kind of know what you're getting into. Um, and, uh, Vin Diesel, man, he's he's about the same thing <laughs> in every single movie. The only movie I really got to see him in that I really did enjoy. Um, uh, Saving Private Ryan. I mean, he kind of played that meathead of a, a soldier in that movie. And, uh, I mean, that was what the character was one, written for in Saving Private Ryan. Um, in this, he played the same character. He played this, like, soldier guy. Um, kind of bulked up and beefy and just like that soldier that is uh, pointed in a certain direction and is used as a weapon. In, in, in that respect, it was good, but uh, <laughs> when you boil it to town, when, when, when you're asked, asking that character to do anything else other than that, I found them completely unbelievable and 
I can't. <laughs> it's Vin Diesel, so what are you going to do? Um, you also have a character uh, played by Guy Pierce. Now, Guy Pierce, from uh, Memento to uh, the icky, awful Iron Man 3, he's still fun to watch on the screen. I enjoyed uh, him in this movie, kind of. <laughs> <laughs> Guy Pierce, he's always fun to watch. I, I I buy him in every single role that he's in. These characters are fun to watch on the screen. I just wish we were given a better story um, to involve ourselves in these characters. The story itself was just too mediocre, and it just didn't make me care enough about these interesting characters. It, it, the, the, the characters were there, the situations weren't. I just, I didn't like it. Um, it inspires me to tell you that I'm going to give it a 60%. Um, again, I, I, I love the violent characters. Um, I kind of want to see the Exo Man of War movie now. But at the same time, it, it was just not engaging enough of a story to make me care about these characters that we were given. Um, and that's the whole, you know, that's the whole deal about these movies. You're supposed to care about the characters so that you care about the uh, the situations they're in. We're just not given that. We're not given that reason. Well, that's it. 60% is the best I'm going to give this movie. Um, I think I'm going to get going, guys. Um, uh, now, uh, I don't know when the movie theaters are going to open back up. I've heard tales of uh, them opening uh, a couple of drive-ins. Uh, some of the West Coast drive-ins have been opened up and flourishing uh, 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 as far as the articles I've been reading. Um, in uh, Northeast Ohio, uh, we're still enjoying seasonable weather, which means that they're not exactly ready to open up my drive-in yet. Um, it's coming up to April now. Uh, in mid-April is when they opened it up last year. I would be Excited to see them try to open the, the, the drive-in up so at least I can go to the movies instead of having to be forced to uh, watch them on my 32-inch uh, screen over here and then uh, give you guys reviews with uh, this backdrop of like this cement blocks. <laughs> Aesthetics. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I hope to be able to bring you a, be a better proper review the next time around. Um, so I, I guess I, I, I'm just going to get going. I'm out of words. Um, what I would like to do is uh, I would like to end my videos how I always do, but I kind of want to add a little, a little more to it. So uh, once again, I do wish I wish everybody peace. Montanay, I hope you guys are healthy, and I hope that you stay healthy. And uh, I guess I'll see you guys later. Bye.